Hi, I'm Kev from 24 Seven Blinds, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at everything you need to know to fit your brand new Venetian blinds. So once you've received your Venetian blinds, now it's time for the fun part. 24 seven blinds include all of the mounting brackets and safety devices with every blind they sell. It will be up to you to provide screws and raw plugs that are suitable for the surface you're attaching your blind to. Okay, so once we've unpacked everything, then we're gonna be ready for the installation. But before we can start, there are gonna be a few tools that you'll need to have available. To fit your Venetian blind, you're going to need a drill with an appropriate drill bit, a metal tape measure, a Phillips or cross head screwdriver, and a pencil. And as usual, in this video, we'll be referring to all measurements in centimeters. Okay, so if we take a look at the main blind unit itself, you'll notice straight away that all of the controls are on the same end. That's the raise and lower cord and the tilt wand. Now this was determined by the choice you made on the website when you ordered your blinds. So it should be fairly straightforward for you to work out which way round the blind should go and where these controls will sit once the blind is installed. Okay, so the next step then is to mount the wall brackets to hold your blind in place. Now, dependent on the width of the blind that you've ordered, you'll either be supplied with two, three, or four of these. Make sure you use all the brackets supplied to fit your blind. These brackets can either be fitted as a face fix, which is perfect for blinds that hang outside of the recess, or top fix, which is for inside the recess. And that is what we're going to be doing today. Now, when you're deciding where to seat the brackets within the recess, it's important to consider any potential obstacles, things like window handles or locks. As you can see in this case, this handle is sitting about three centimeters forwards from the back of the window frame itself. So when I come to mount the brackets, I want to put them approximately four centimeters forwards. This will give me a good clean drop every time the blind is used. So let's install the first bracket. Remember to start four centimeters from the back of the recess and offer up the bracket top fix. Position these brackets about 20 centimeters from the edge of the recess. Take the pencil and make two drill marks in the wall. We need to then repeat this process for all other supplied brackets before we start the drilling. Great, so we're all marked up. Now the only thing to be careful of here, if we have a look at the headrail on the top of the blind, is the mechanisms themselves. Make sure that you don't position your brackets so that they're gonna directly affect the operation of the blind. So we're all set. I've got my cordless drill all charged up and ready to go, and I've got a suitable masonry drill bit attached to this wall that I'm gonna drill into. The other thing to consider is a pair of safety specs. I wear these just to keep the plaster dust out of my eyes, but if you don't have any, then be careful. Okay, so now that we have our holes drilled, the next thing we need to think about are pushing our wall plugs in. Make sure that you seat these flush all the way into the wall. Great, so next up, I'm gonna offer up the brackets and screw them into place. And do this for every bracket that's been supplied. Okay, so with the brackets firmly in place, we're now ready to fit the blind. Just make sure before you offer it up that all of the swing arms are open before you offer up the blinds. Offer up the top rail straight up to the brackets together. And then push the swing arms clockwise to lock the rail in place. So 
there you go, we're almost there. The last thing you need to do is fit this, the child safety device or cleat as it's sometimes called. Not only will this stop this cord from flapping loosely in the window recess when the blind is up, but also it will keep all these cords safely out of reach from small children or pets. So let's extend out the raise and lower cord to the full length, then position the cord tidy at the desired height, mark off the holes with our pencil, and we're ready to drill the final two holes. We simply finish this off with the final two screws and remember to tie the raise and lower cord around it in a figure eight every time the blind is lifted. So there you go and as you can see the raise and lower cord does also have its own safety breaker just in case this is pulled too much. Okay so there you go we've now fitted our beautiful Venetian blind. The raise and lower cord does exactly what it says on the tin and as you can see this tilt wand just adjusts the angle of the slats themselves. And the great thing is, now that your brackets are up, you can simply change this blind to suit your mood at different times of the year or just when you want to freshen up the room. Click one of the links below to take a look through our huge range of colours, designs and styles to make your room look fabulous. And remember, we're always creating new styles, blinds and window options. So don't forget to subscribe today so you don't miss out.